of summer continues down at the Flats East Bank on this Memorial Day. There's a big difference this year, though, with at least four new restaurants. As the E-Team's John Kosick shows us, the East Bank is nothing if not resilient. Last Memorial Day wasn't exactly the best for the East Bank at the Flats. Three crop properties were all shuttered, and the new Margaritaville was still the month away from opening. This year, it is open for business, and those closed restaurants are all now filled and open. You know what? We're thrilled with the 2018 summer of the Flats East Bank. You know, we started off with restaurants like Lago that are staples in Cleveland, and then we moved right up to this year. We've got things like Thirsty Dog and Dante's Inferno and Margaritaville. Memorial Day 10 years ago, the place looked like this. The infrastructure work on the project was just underway, but it would come to a crashing halt when financing disappeared for the half billion dollar project with the collapse of the economy just four months later. On October 1st, 2008, all I was trying to do was get to October 2nd, 2008. That was developer Adam Fishman in 2015. It was a partner with the Wolstein family on the project that eventually set a standard when it became really the first private project of the size in the country to begin construction post-crash after piecing together loans from 35 different lenders. So hurdles are nothing new here. And the trend line, they say, is up. So we have three new places that will be opening in 2018, including Rascal Flats, which has been highly anticipated in the Cleveland market, in addition to Goodnight John Boy, which is going to be over on West 10th. And then in addition, we have one more that we haven't quite announced yet, but we're really excited for a new lounge that's going to be opening up as well. For the E-Team, I'm John Kasich.